manufacturers that you can pick your choice with it and then you pay $40 for each extra manufacturer. So it's pretty nice for home people. I just noticed this car is a red interior. So I'm gonna bring this up on my phone and I'll show you guys how it works. It's pretty neat. Okay guys, so here's the main screen on the app. So let's turn the car on. There we go. So now we should go under all functions. Now this works off Bluetooth. It seemed pretty quick the other day when I was messing around with it. Let's see. There we go. Oh, there must be a GM upgrade. I haven't done GM yet. Uh, let me turn off Wi Fi. Let's try this again. There we go. Two thousand thirteen. This thing's pretty cool because you can do reports, and in the reports you can put live data. Still health report. Look how quick this thing is! It's it is insane. really want to try this on like a European car. There we go. Let's see. Let's run our engine. So we got a lean code and engine pro oil control cell and I short high. Let's see what's in the radio. Okay, so let's go under it's automatic. Let's see. Let's read data stream. Let's look see what our temperatures are at. Where's our intake and where's our engine core? So our barrel looks good. Engine 
Performance 50, IATs. I wonder if this even has an IAT too. I don't like that the uh, IAT says 32 degrees, and I don't really like that there's a 12 and a half degree difference. Let's start this up. Oh, now our intake air temperatures change. It's running a little rough. I don't know if you guys can hear that tapping noise. Let's pop the hood. Right now our fuel trims are canceling each other out. I think what we'll do guys, I think we're going to switch over to the e-scan just because we can graft the fuel trim since we have a fuel trim issue. So I'm going to shut the car off and then we'll do that and then we can do a volumetric efficiency test and stuff i think that'll be the best thing to do here i just wanted to show you guys this tool real quick oh and you can also you can also graph the stuff you can combine it let's see we want to combine these two see now they're combined they're overlaid and also like if you pick this Oh, now look at our fuel trim. So now we're adding 30%. That's not good. So let's go back. Yeah, I was hoping to show you guys the fault report, but I don't remember how to look at it unless it did it already. No, I didn't do it. I'm not that familiar with this tool yet, guys. So maybe I'll make a video showing it because I did it with my with my Dakota. Let's see if you if you look here. Oh, this did it for this, okay. So when I disconnected, it brought it up. Tells you everything. So now, if, like if I bring up my Dakota, I think one of my Dakotas, I put the live data in the report. <laughs> Let's see, where's this at? At least I thought I did. Maybe it didn't save it. Okay, so that was a log that I did on my Dakota. Yeah, I don't see it guys, but I know you can put the live data in the report because I did it before. Oh, here it is. See that live data? And there it is. It's actually pretty cool. There's my short terms and long terms for my truck that I put in there. I'm gonna quick grab the 